Hello everyone and welcome back to Leeway Model. Summer is almost over, so that means that things have started to calm down. Do I have time for some models? Up to date, we have a brown box. Yeah, a brown box. That's all I know for now because I had this for a very, very long time, never got to it. And you probably know more than me what it is at this time because you've saw the thumbnail. So, games from DHL, things that normally come from DHL comes from abroad. So that means that I don't even know from where in the world this comes from. So, let's open it. Okay, so what do we have in here? Hmm. I can't even recall when this was ordered. So, nothing else. Yep, let's get rid of that. So, what is this? Well, one thing's certain, it comes from Japan. Okay, let's get rid of this. So... It seems like it's some form of tram, and there's a tank over there. Oh, I guess I know what this is. Yeah, there's an anime called Girls and Panzer or something like this, and uh, this was team after that. Let's open it up. Oh. I guess some assembly is required. Hmm. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. That seems to me that I'm gonna have to go pick stuff up. Okay, let's just take a look at this box before we look at uh, what is going to need to be assembled first. Uh, first of all, I don't speak Japanese and, um, well, I have no idea what the box says anywhere. So let's just hope that the instructions are going to be full of pictures so I can sort of understand what to do with this. And I guess we're going to assemble it together. Okay, so... Uh... I'm not even sure in which scale this is, or if it's in actual scale or not. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, this looks like... This looks like a tank. Cool. From the look of it, a uh, Panzer IV. What else? So, we've got blazing here. This looks like coupling, and we have a chassis. Let's just hope that no glue is required. Oh, that's the body of one of the car. Uh, roof, bogies. Second roof, so there's two cars in there. And this might be for coupling. And that's the second body. Well, this is actually kind of nice, if you take a close look here. Get the little, almost etch looking wipers there. Very, very finely made. A couple of wheels. Now, obviously, uh, with what I see here, it's, it's not going to be motorized or something, but uh, maybe it could be motorized. The other one here has graphics on it. It's actually pretty well made from what I see anyway. Okay, and here are the instructions. 
So we've got little transfers here. That will not be applied today. How do we open this up? I guess the safety exacto to the rescue again. So transfers, let's put this on the side. Instruction manual. Hmm. Let's just hope that it's going to be a bit more explicit with pictures because I'm going to have some issues with that. Okay. Well, this looks like a motorized bogey. So I guess it could be motorized. Oh, okay. Exploded view. I can I can deal with that. Hmm, interesting. There's a little bogey here that clips underneath the Panzer. And yes, that, that's a Panzer IV. Okay, so what do we say here if we try to assemble this? Just hope a new is required, but from what I see here, I saw a lot of clips, so hopefully we're not going to need anything. So, let's find out. Let's open a couple of bags here. So what do we have? We have roof. We have what looks like chassis. Number one, chassis number two. This is self-explanatory. We're not going to going too much detail with that. This looks like a second roof. Oh, this here. Blazing. Chassis number one, chassis number two, identical to the first one. So let's put this here. Let's get to that. And thank you, I'll keep it for later. Okay, I'm gonna need some tools to assemble that, so probably something to snap things in, uh, something to cut things from the sprue. And uh, yeah, uh, let's just put the instruction right here. Let me grab some tools. So, some things to cut them from the sprue, and uh, some things to snap stuff together. Okay, I'm being silly here. I'm not gonna snap stuff with a stapler here. A hammer will do the job. Okay, then. Let me just grab the real tools. This is a small job, so it requires a small toolbox. That has a small cutter. No need for this. Mm, no need for that. This might be handy. And uh, a little tiny exacto. Perhaps this one's gonna be even better. And on top of that, let's put a cutting board so we can work this out. Okay, what do we have to begin? Okay, let's start with assembly of. Okay, let's start with this chassis assembly then. That's how it seems to go. So, this one here. Gonna put the instruction on the side here. You won't see them, but uh, you probably don't care at this point. 
so do I need glue for this? I don't think I'm gonna need glue. This actually sticks pretty well. Yep. Okay, second thing. They're asking me to put the mock-up bogies on it. And which one is it? I guess it would be those ones. Guess I'll try and do some editing. Okay, so what have I been up to this summer? Not a single video out for the whole summer. That's called volunteering in many things. Also, for people who don't know, I work on a seasonal job, which most of it happens during the summer, and the winter is pretty cold. a couple of these. Now, if you are asking yourself, do they rotate? No, the bogey as is, do not rotate. So if you plan on using this on a layout, I'm sorry, they roll, but they do not rotate. So that's one done, let's do the second one here. I think it actually does a pretty a better job than me cutting them for these. Be surprised how challenging it is to do with a camera between you and the uh, things you're trying to assemble. I have to say now that I know it can be motorized, I'm sort of tempted to find what uh, what would be required for it. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see, uh, how to motorize this stuff. 
Something I didn't say is the price I paid for it. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen because I have to let you know that I have no idea how I paid for this when I purchased this out of the top of my head because it's been several months now. But it was very low. Now I recall it, it was very, very low. Something like $30 or something like that. Still $30 for a bunch of plastics, if you ask me, but still. Okay, so. Hmm. There's a bunch of part numbers. I'll be looking what those parts number are and see if I can motorize the thing with that. Okay, let's uh, let's jump to the the body itself. That uh, seems to be pretty straightforward. You've got one one number two three and number four. Okay, let's do that. So let's start with the plain one because why not? So I need to get all of this out. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but look at these wipers. I don't know if they are metal, but they look really good. Now you guys see the close-ups and I don't, this is very tiny by the way, as you see like, this is my hand. So you see, you see, you see the close-up, maybe it's not as good looking when you look at it that close. But, uh, yeah, I mean the finish is very good on this. Come on camera, could you, yeah, thanks, no. Can you, can you, can you focus a bit? Yeah, the finish is very good on this. Oh, and interesting things, you've actually, oh, this is empty, bye bye, you know, so two sides are not the same, that's interesting, so I guess this is where the engines and such are. Okay, so we got the two sides, I also need this here, okay, about this plastic, it is very flexible, looks like really good quality plastic, it doesn't feel like hard and nasty, it, it, it feels feels really uh, really good actually it feels it's, it's a soft plastic and uh, I guess that'll do because I think it's completely hidden uh, yeah it's a soft plastic and uh, you know sometimes you get that nasty super hard plastic you feel like it's gonna break. Uh, I guess, yeah, the glazing is mostly like that, but that's almost by design. Uh, so uh, all the all the other parts besides glazing, they, they, they feel like they're soft plastic, to, so they're not gonna really break or fall apart. Or oh, interesting. See, there's some painting here. So I guess I guess this one goes with this here. The glazing is very, very thick. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna look like on the model itself, but it, it it is structural. I don't know if you can see how thick this is. This is very thick. It's it's uh, it's 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 a good millimeter thick. Now, don't ask me what it is in U.S. Uh, measurements. I don't know. Okay, so they say you put you take one of these. goes this way and you put it to that hole you do the same on the other side put it into that hole so far I have not needed any glue by the way and you do
and everything snaps in. How neat is that? Now, roof. Now, roof, I'm going to use my uh, cutter here. This is empty. What I was saying about the plastic. See, this is actually harder plastic. It has a almost a primer finish. This one, very soft plastic. Okay, so they say that's nasty. Just. Uh, So the antenna goes this way on the instruction. There's, a, there's an antenna here, I don't know if you can see it. So if I take this here, just have to clip it on with the antenna on the same size as the windows with the uh, painted uh, window frame on it. Snap right in. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is to put both sides. So this is this goes here. It feels really nice how it clips together. I was afraid I was gonna need glue, in which case I don't think I would have made the whole video like this, showing you how is assembled together but I mean everything clips in together everything fits well except when it doesn't oh there you go that was a nice lake there's another nice lake another nice lake and yeah. so last step put the ends is there anything difference between those two no. Assemble here, it just clips right in. There we go. So this is the first one. We just assemble it with the plastic chassis. Yeah, not too bad. They actually do roll. Okay, now, this one. So, I don't think I'm going to need this in the end. So I think the ends are glazed completely and the end is uh, painted on because they do have glazing and it doesn't seem like they are like they have multiple parts and you know from what I see here yeah, it really do look like this is a complete gla uh, glazing with metal wipers attached to it and uh, or if it's not metal, I mean the, the, the paint is really really good. It really does look like metal. But the whole thing is a glazed piece uh, with a printing on it. Probably some temple printing. Okay, let's uh, assemble this again. 
Oh, I know these are hidden. I'm not gonna be as careful as I was for the other one. Empty. Go away. Uh, I'm missing one blazing. What is it? Okay, sorry, I searched everywhere just to realize that the glazing on this one is actually directly assembled on the body itself. Oh well. So, <clears throat> let's uh, assemble it. So that actually doesn't make any sense when you think about it, because if you follow the order in which they ask you to assemble the thing, uh, they say that number two is the roof. But now number three and number one are already assembled together. I mean, that's quite a minor complaint you're gonna say, but... Actually prevented me from doing everything in one take. Although I just paused the recording here, I I guess you could still count it in one take. Okay, so we said earlier that the antenna, which is right here, goes on the same side as place that's full of windows, like this. And the mock-up chassis. This chassis is gonna be very easy to remove, so if I ever motorize this, I will not have any problem removing it. So, let's see, we need a little coupling for these. So let's put one. and a second coupling. Well, you know what? Let's make it symmetrical. There we go. Doesn't look half bad though. Okay, let's put this on the side and parts that I was the most curious about. I know I usually do trains, but I guess a tank is something different than... Different is good. So, let's see how to assemble that tank there. Seems to be pretty straightforward. Commander Coppola right here. And the 
short barrel 75 I actually like the fact that they've put underneath, I don't know if you can see it properly, it's like that cage around underneath the barrel, you know, around the barrel. That cage was there just so that uh, they would not destroy the antennas uh, the, for the radio when uh, they would rotate the turret, because the antenna on the Panzer IV was uh, on the side of the tank. So they had to put this there because otherwise the antenna would uh, inter would interfere with the uh, the cannon. Okay, so upper body, lower body. Turret. Good enough. And the Weak spot of the tank, the rear. Okay, a bit of cleanup. This tank is very great. If I compare it with the uh, train itself, I mean, it feels very gray, and uh, well, I know that the Wehrmacht had the, their uh, armor gray. But uh, it's a very, very big contrast, so I guess this is why the transfers are there, to symbolize whatever happened in the, uh, in the uh, cartoon. Okay, how long will this take? Okay, this... Looks like a platform, so I don't think it goes in there. This probably goes here. body right here why isn't it clipping out oh. forgot to remove one single challenge with this is not to get your finger cut on such a small piece quite difficult I gotta say, this is a decently looking time. Now, 
this is going to cause issues. Eh? So, let's get rid of that. This is a finished product. A little tiny Panzer IV. Looks quite decent. A couple of nice details are on it. A couple of other details. I'm surprised that they've decided to do it like this. Like the machine gun right here. It's as big as the barrel of the uh, 75 millimeter gun, but that's. Uh, I guess that's. Uh, Expected for the price I paid, I guess. It does have this, which I think is just a platform to put it on, like this. But, um, well, from the look of it, there's nothing to power it. And there's, uh, there's not even a bogey that came in the kit for that. So I guess uh, that's how it comes. So let's do a little close up on everything assembled together, what it looks like. This goes here. I guess, according to the picture I saw, this should be towed behind, but it does not have any bogey. And this goes here. So. Whatever competition these gals are going to involve tanks blowing each other, from what I understand. And uh, I don't think that this particular train was in the anime series. But the main character uses a Panzer IV like this. So, what do I think about the kit? Well, I think it's, it's, it's well designed. It's uh, like, there is some quality in this. Um, I like uh, the fact that uh, I like the fact that uh, the, the, the tempo printing are pretty good and uh, I like the fact also that uh, you know it's quite cheap everything given it's quite cute also but uh, out of the box once assembled, it, it doesn't feel like this is a complete set. Like, this one is missing its bogey. So, this this is sort of a partial thing. This is all fine if you go straight, but as soon as they're gonna go take a curve, they're gonna derail because the, the bogey don't turn. So, is this something you'd like to see? I mean, would you like to see me uh, converting this to a, a better... Um, a better uh, a better train with uh, you know uh, maybe powered and actual bogies that turns and add a bogey on this this little chap here so that uh, it can be pulled also there is many parts here that have not been used so I'm wondering a bit what they are for so this I used once for um, for uh, the coupling between those two. I guess I could put these couplings uh, on the ends so that they, they, they could work. So yeah, let me know. Would you like me to try and improve this little set? Uh, 
I can't say it's gonna be done fast because uh, all of these parts come, come from Japan, which is literally on the opposite of the world. And uh, shipping is quite uh, hefty from what I remember on this. So I hope you like this, it's very different from what I usually do. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more time and bring you some other weird stuff that comes from all over the world. This was Leeway Model.